tea is 100 kilograms heavy and looks like a pre-dinosaur and uh, it's, it's a really an amazing amazing creature so when people see these alligators and animals they are fascinated my name is Peter I'm a biologist and I'm highly specialized in turtles and tortoises the mission to work with turtles and save turtles from extinction I had from very early childhood on. All my life I'm dealing, I'm keeping and breeding uh, endangered turtles. My father was interested in whale. The first turtle he got when he was 12 years old, so it started almost 60 years ago. First it was a hobby, a few species and just a few aquariums and then the interest uh, was growing and growing and right now we have about a thousand turtles and tortoises of about uh, 130 different species. Some of them are critically endangered. Of a few species we have the only specimens in captivity. So I feel this responsibility to take care of them, to breed them and also to bring them back into the wild. This is our mission. The funding we are looking for right now is a provisional, let's see, a step for the next two, three years. Uh, we are limited in space. Uh, turtles are smuggled worldwide and there are confiscations and at the moment we can get some very interesting, very rare species. And for these species we need to rent additional space in a greenhouse. And uh, I want to establish their tanks with filtration, with basking light, with nesting beaches, and that deserves some kind of money, which will be around uh, 25, 30,000 euros. And to run this project, or to run this satellite uh, greenhouse, um, will be about 10,000 euros a year. This step is so important because these rare animals, which are available right now, this is a unique situation. They are extremely rare. Uh, and probably there will not be any confiscation like this in the next 100 years. So we are able to take care of them now or never. And they will be a, a core stock of the future zoo we 